outside at Campus Martius. There it is. It's still so pretty seeing the Christmas tree, even though Christmas has passed. And uh, it's certainly one of those days where you want to spend uh, spend it inside looking at the pretty views outside because it is still cold, Mike Taylor. Um, but yet we have this rain <laughs> kind of moving in, which is a really interesting mix. Uh, that's right, Amir. There's some good news, though. The temperatures are actually going in the other direction, so we're not concerned about freezing rain or ice, which is some good news. Uh, we're at 37 right now, but notice that what, what Amira was talking about. It feels like 30 despite the warm-up because the winds that are warming us up, ironically, are also making it feel colder from the southeast at 10 miles per hour. Those same winds are going to stay with us for the rest of this evening, only going to pick up already up to 12 miles per hour in Monroe. But notice the green and the blues. That's showing wind gusts up to around 25 miles per hour or greater. So the winds are going to be an issue eventually. Um, as far as the temperatures go, we are climbing right above freezing 37 in Detroit. Adrian at 36, right the way up towards Port Huron at 36 degrees as well. So a mixture of some rain and snow, but the radar is not really going to fill in just yet. Eventually it is as this storm system starts to track right across the Great Lakes. This is going to increase the likelihood that we'll see some rain that could be light to moderate at times, thinking it's going to arrive closer to around 10 p.m. So Futurecast shows the rain taking over closer to midnight. Notice how the numbers climb. They spike up to 40 degrees, and then after that, they begin to drop. And as the temperatures drop, what's left of the rain should change over back to some snow. And that's going to happen late morning for Monday into the afternoon. And we could even have some snow showers lingering into your Tuesday. So over the next few hours here, temps are going to hold into the 30s, even up near 40 degrees by 11 p.m. Overnight lows technically are going to hold in the 40s for tonight. Winds are going to be from the west-southwest, and they're going to pick up to 15 to 30 miles per hour. A summary of your Monday, 40 degrees would be the high temp, but that'll be the overnight high. Find how temperatures will be dropping throughout the day with more snow showers likely. And then jumping ahead here, we have two systems to get through for the work week. It's going to be storm number one on Wednesday morning, bringing us an opportunity for our wintry mix. And then storm number two could impact us on the very first day of 2021. That's the next one that we're going to be watching. So a busy seven day forecast here. Uh, we'll start off with a wintry mix of rain and snow for Monday, some snow showers on Tuesday, and then once again with the wintry mix on Wednesday. And it looks like we'll have another opportunity for a storm to kick things off for 2021.